Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Sarah's got overalls on, but don't mm -hmm. be deceived. She's about to go in the pool. Yep. Got my suit on. I'm going to put on some sunscreen because... I need, to, I need to put some on too. And I think we're going to try and spend the most time by the pool today. Yes. And so... It's I'm going to be sunny. It is. And it's, it's cool right now, but it's one of those like it's going to increase 20 degrees as the day goes on. So I'm going to think I'm going to try to go get a few miles out on the road right now. And then maybe go on another run later, depending on how I'm feeling. But I'm going to go sweat my face off. Barely clouds. Uh, it's like noon. Maybe a little before. I knew going on this run would be torture and not the smartest move, but I knew that if I wanted to do 75% of what I wanted to get done right now by myself, that if I go on another run later with some of my family, that even if we do a quarter of what we do or even less, I'll be happy with my running for today just because of the extra lounging and the extra snacking and sweat is profusely wrong in the eyes. But I wanna show you where I am. I'm on West Side, a street. Off 20, off 192, and this is very nostalgic for me because we used to live, our first apartment for the first two years, we didn't really tell you guys where it was, um, but it was basically 192, closer towards Disney property, and I would run down 192 to west side here and turn south and run this, this goes a few miles, so I would just see how far I wanted to go halfway and turn around and say I have to go home. So I'm kind of doing the reverse where I'm running from 27 down 192 to west side. But this is where 90%, this road right here, is where 90% of these legs got ready for Dopey 2019. My first marathon, first ACS endeavor, and where I got on the road to being healthy for my babies. There it is, six miles, hour and two minutes, 10.29. Very, very hot out. Time to roll out, grab a body armor, and hop in the pool. Look at this lunch, like little buffet bar. This is called Cowboy Caviar. Um, and I'll see if I, I can get the recipe and put it below. Um, some plantain chips and ooh, that's the yummy fruit salad with coconut and fruit and veggies. And this is refried beans, half has cheese and half does not. All right, we honestly just spent like three hours, you think? I think close to three hours in the pool. And even before that, like before we ate, we were in the pool for when like I was in the run. three other hours. Yeah. Like we've just been like cooling Chilling, it up. relaxing. Yeah. It's been a beautiful weather out. It's like 80, yeah, maybe 85. So I think we're gonna go all go get changed. And I think we're gonna play some pool. Yes. Like the pool table pool, not the pool water pool. That's too soggy. I think I just we need the dry out pool. The title of this video. Pool pool pool? <laughs> Something like that. Here we go, 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 here we go. Yeah. Alright, I've had the heater going for over an hour. It's 9.30, but but I'm absolutely stuffed from dinner, but we started watching the new season of Somebody Feed Phil, skip to the episode of Chicago, boom, very first place, the place that will break me being vegan one day, Al's Beef. That is, I, I can't talk about this without Sarah, and we haven't even finished the episode, but the first two places are two of our favorites and on our college campus. Tomorrow for sure. What, what the heck happened? I fell asleep on the couch. Six in the morning. <laughs> I think you slept with your laptop on your lap. I did, which is probably not healthy. Okay. The daily message. Storms. Oops. Make deeper roots. Dolly Parton. I could be like, swish and flick and do the ro 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 rica. <laughs> Basically, I don't remember the last time we vlogged. I brought up Phil, so this works out. Oh, great. Well, first... We did have a really yummy final dinner of sausages and 
all kinds of salads and stuff. So it was a nice last meal. But even better meals were what Phil had on his show. Season three of Somebody Feed Phil came out last night or yesterday. And Chicago is episode two. Stop watching this vlog and go watch it <laughs> right now. And we watched it. If you like, don't have Netflix, we'll give you a login. We went straight to Chicago. Um, and we hope that you guys noticed some familiar places because the very first two places were Ale's Beef, mm -hmm. which we've definitely been to before. First off, we're appalled that there are stools here because the proper way to do it is to stand. <laughs> and Sean, before you hear it, you said a couple weeks ago on the vlog that we ate at Epcot and it was 5,000 calories. That was not, but that is probably 5,000 calories and that's all mine. This is Italian beef dipped in the With sauce. Jardinera peppers. And hot jardinera. French fries. I didn't get as large of one. And pop. So this is a place that my parents would go to when my dad went to school at USC. When they were dating. Yes, where we went. And we came here as kids, and then Peter and I started to come here. And so... Because our school, our, our college is like just down the road. Yeah. Maybe three blocks. So this is honestly one of our favorite places. We haven't been here in a long time. And it's just no frills, just beef sandwiches, fries. So good. This place is so important that when my boss came to Chicago for Thanksgiving, I was like, there's one place in the entire city you have to go eat. It was here. But it was convenient, he went to a concert nearby. But he went and he loved it. And Jim's original, both of those. Which we've been to. Yeah, I don't think, I don't we've, think vlogged. we've vlogged. Yet. The only chance is if we vlogged it during Vlogmas when we went to UIC. Um, both are on our, basically on our college campus. Um, and then the Pittsfield Cafe we just went to. With Angela and her nephews. Yeah, last time we were in Chicago. Okay. Look at the ceiling. So this cafe has seating like in the lobby and then inside. Their menu is so big and good and they offer lunch or they offer their full menu even this early. They have a ton of options. I think I'm gonna get the Greek skillet just with no meat or cheese. There's lots of veggies, ton of different lunch and dinner. Ooh. Hot dogs. Nope. Alright, we're gonna go show Jackson the inside of Pittsfield. But this is a cute little diner. What else did we go to? We like literally were like cheering when every next place came up. We've been Cindy's. to Cindy's rooftop. We went there with Dom and Victoria. Oh. We might have pictures. Yes, but Cindy's we got pictures. There was also what was the the bar we went to they showed for a quick oh, second. So we went to Happy's, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. With Lauren and her dad. Almost Christmas overlaid. Yeah, um, at Christmas time, but that was next to the game room that Phil goes to um, in the, what is it, like the Chicago Athletic Association building? Mm -hmm. Same building that Cindy's is in. So it was just such a good episode, and we're going to watch it a million times. And so I truly, after that, what? You get up, you fell asleep. I just turned over and fell asleep. You couldn't go to bed because I was finishing my work stuff. Um, you turned over, you fell this, asleep. This is a heavy camera. <laughs> you turned, you turned over, you fell asleep, and as I was waiting for like one of my processes to finish, I fell asleep. Next thing you know, it's six in the morning. Oh my goodness, we had a really good, good vacation. Yeah, good vacation. Good, like I felt like yesterday was such a solid day and. You know, guys, that like sometimes like we don't pick up the camera. Now I have to finish my work process, and then yeah. we have to start and packing. We have to pick. And that is never fun. No. 
Alrighty. It's, it's good, good to be, to be home. home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.